Hello, and welcome to this quick look at a simple question on determination of the copper content in brass. So specifically, we're looking at the percentage by mass of copper. It's going to use an iodine thiosulfate redox titration. So the first thing to do is visualize the procedure because they've described it in four steps and there's quite a lot of text and data to handle. So first of all, let's think through each stage. So the first stage is a 2.56 gram sample of brass is reacted with an excess of concentrated nitric acid and in this process the copper is converted to Cu2 plus. So I've taken a random brass object such as a coin and if you put it into nitric acid it effervesces and uh, you produce Cu2 plus which is blue. So then it says the solution is neutralized and the resulting solution is made up to 250 centimeters cubed. So that's our 250 centimeters cubed of blue copper 2 plus ions in solution. Then it says a 25 centimeter cubed sample of the solution is pipetted into a conical flask and an excess of Ki aqueous is added. And it gives the reaction that takes place copper 2 plus and 2i minus giving you CuI as a solid plus half I2 in solution. So the copper iodide precipitate is a sort of um, brownish color. So that's represented in that diagram there. And then finally it says the iodine formed is titrated with 0 0.100 moles per decimeter cubed thiosulfate ions. And 29.8 centimeters cubed is required to reach the end point. So obviously you don't need to do a technically perfect set of sketches but some kind of storyboard approach might help you kind of think about what's going on at each stage before you start thinking about the calculation. So if you line up the two equations, one on top of the other, so the first equation is the copper 2 plus reacting with iodide. The second equation is the iodine formed reacting with thiosulfate in the titration. So you need to think about what you actually have information for to work out the moles. So the data we have is for the thiosulfate. So obviously the number of moles of thiosulfate is V times C. So that's going to be the volume, which is 29.8, divided by 1,000 to turn it into decimeters cubed, and then multiply it by the concentration. So that gives us 0 0.00298 moles. So we need to think about the relationship between copper 2 plus in the first equation and the thiosulfate in the second. And the connection between them is the iodine. So in the titration, the ratio between thiosulfate and iodine is 2 to 1. And in the first reaction, the relationship between iodine and copper is 2 to 1. In other words, 2 moles of um, copper for 1 mole of iodine. So what I've done really here is taken the half to one ratio and convert it to one to two. So in other words, if this was multiplied up, you'd have two, sorry, two moles of copper two plus, four moles of I minus, two moles of CuI, and one mole of I2, meaning that it's a one to one ratio. These would be two and two, so therefore it's one and one. So that must mean that the number of moles of copper 2 plus in 25 centimeters cubed in our titration is also 0 0.00298. But we want the number of moles in our 250 centimeters cubed that we made up earlier. So that's going to be scaled up by a scaling factor of 250 over 25, which is obviously 10. So that gives us 0 0.0298. So what we want now is the mass of copper 2 plus in that 250 centimeters cubed. So you multiply the moles that we just worked out times the molar mass of copper, which is 63.5 grams per mole, and then that gives us 1.8923. So to get the percentage by mass of copper in the brass sample, you divide that by the original mass of the brass, which is 2.56 grams, and express it as a percentage by multiplying it by 100, which gives us 73.9%, three significant figures. Okay, hopefully this has been a look at... Uh, uh, a useful look rather at a fairly standard sort of iodine thiosulfate type question. Until next time, thanks for listening and see you soon.